safety. It has now been eight days since Master Deputy Bradley Link lost his life while on the job. I'm Ashlyn Webb. We watched as law enforcement led this procession ahead of his funeral service in Claremont. Today, Channel 9's Sam Martello walks us through those somber moments. Motorcycle units from law enforcement agencies all over the state escorted Deputy Link's family to the Real Life Christian Center today. And this is where the community gathered to honor his life and the ultimate sacrifice he made. A procession of law enforcement officers led way to the celebration of life and memorial service for 28 year old Lake County Master Deputy Bradley Link. The procession traveled U.S. Highway 27 to the Real Life Christian Church in Claremont. At the front, Deputy Link's widow, Brittany, looked to be taking in the overwhelming support of this community. The family was met with an honor guard who lined the walkways to make way for the family to enter the service. Also in attendance, Deputy Harold Howell, carrying his arm in a sling. He was also shot in the ambush and released from the hospital this week. Now it's just been a very, very hard week. Uh, like, like we've said, this has been a, a nightmare. The service was open to the public, which is why members from the Warthog Motorcycle Club from Daytona Beach decided to pay their respects. We've all been on this job. We've all been on this job. Well, most of us are retired, but we've all been on this job one way or the other. Retired law enforcement, firefighters, and corrections officers who collected more than $1,000 to donate to the Link family. And it's just a sad thing when, when a man loses his life doing his job. He's here to support the blue, and that's what we do. You know, this is family to us. Support and strength of a community that will keep his memory alive forever. And from all of us here at Channel 9, we are keeping the Link family, his friends, and the entire Lake County Sheriff's Office in our thoughts and prayers. In Claremont, San Martello, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.